Did you know that Kim Kardashian is the chief taste consultant at Beyond Meat? Yeah, she's the biggest fan of this vegan meat company's rich flavors, incredible textures, and how it lets her enjoy every bite without a shred of compromise. But how do they actually make this delicious meat? You've seen it grilled to perfection, heard the satisfying sizzle, and maybe even wondered, can this really be made from plants? This is how vegan meat is really made. But where did it all start? Plant-based diets go back thousands of years, started by people like Siddhartha Gautama and Pythagoras. Then in 1944, Donald Watson came up with the term vegan, marking a modern shift in the movement. Meat alternatives have ancient roots. China introduced tofu during the Han Dynasty and Seitan in the 6th century. Today, the plant-based meat market has skyrocketed, valued at $13.6 in 2023 and projected to hit $87.9 by the year 2032. Thanks to innovators like Beyond Meat and Impossible Foods, vegan meat now rivals the taste and texture of real meat. Ready to see how it's made? Well, let's get started. Creating vegan meat starts with carefully chosen plant-based ingredients that mimic the look, taste, and feel of real meat. The key players are proteins like soy, wheat gluten, and pea protein. Soy is packed with essential nutrients, including all nine amino acids, making it a reliable base for many products. Wheat gluten, also known as seitan, gives vegan meat a chewy texture that feels similar to real meat. Pea protein, made from yellow peas, has a mild flavor and works well in a variety of vegan meat types, from burgers to sausages. Other ingredients add unique qualities to the mix. Jackfruit, for example, has a fibrous, shredded texture, perfect for imitating pulled pork. Lentils and chickpeas bring extra protein and an earthy taste, while beans, quinoa, and mushrooms add depth to the texture and flavor. These ingredients are blended to create a balanced and convincing base for vegan meat. Fats are essential for replicating the juiciness of real meat. Oils like coconut, sunflower, and canola are added because they melt well during cooking, giving the meat that satisfying rich bite. Some products even use advanced techniques, like extrudable fat technology, to create marbling, making the fat distribution look and act like it does an animal meat. To hold everything together, binding agents like aquafaba, liquid from cooked chickpeas, or starches such as potatoes or tapioca starch are used. These help the mixture keep its shape whether it's being formed into patties, nuggets, or sausages. For a smoother texture, stabilizers like xanthan gum or carrageenan might also be included. Flavor is just as important as texture. Natural seasonings, herbs, and yeast extracts help create the savory taste people expect from meat. Beet juice or heme, a molecule found in plants, can give vegan meat a reddish color, even creating a bleeding effect in products like the Impossible Burger. These small details make the experience of eating vegan meat feel closer to eating the real thing. Fermented proteins and specially engineered yeast allow manufacturers to fine-tune flavors and textures, making plant-based meat products more realistic than ever before. This thoughtful combination of ingredients ensures vegan meat not only tastes great, but also provides a sustainable and cruelty-free alternative to traditional meat. Before flavor or texture comes into play, the journey of vegan meat starts with extracting proteins from raw plant materials like soybeans, yellow peas, or wheat. This critical step transforms humble crops into the building blocks of plant-based meat. Soybeans are often ground into a fine powder, and the proteins are separated using a combination of mechanical processes such as grinding and sieving and chemical processes like water or solvent extraction. The goal is to isolate or concentrate the purest form of protein, free from unnecessary fats, starches, or fibers. 
The process for extracting protein from peas is straightforward. Yellow peas are chosen because they have a lot of protein and a mild flavor. After being ground into a fine powder, the protein is separated using water-based methods. This creates pea protein isolate, a light, versatile ingredient that mixes well with other proteins. Wheat goes through a different process to produce wheat gluten, or satin. The starch is washed away, leaving behind a stretchy, dough-like protein that's great for creating chewy, meat-like textures. Each protein has unique qualities. Soy protein, packed with essential amino acids, adds smoothness and helps everything bind together. Pea protein is mild and soft, making it ideal for mimicking flaky fish or tender chicken. Wheat gluten stands out for its elasticity, perfect for creating the texture of beef or pork. Texture is everything when it comes to mimicking meat. That's where extrusion technology steps in. The protein mixture is poured into a massive machine called an extruder, which uses heat, pressure, and mechanical force to knead and compress the mixture. The result? Fibrous layered structures that look and feel like muscle tissue. Extrusion isn't the only technique used. Some manufacturers use wet texturization, adding moisture to create stringy, sinewy textures, ideal for chicken substitutes. Others employ shear cell technology, an energy-efficient process that aligns proteins into muscle-like fibers. Whether it's a juicy burger patty or a tender chicken strip, these methods guarantee the right texture every time. When it comes to flavor, vegan meat doesn't hold back. Real meat owes much of its savory taste to heme, an iron-rich molecule that creates that distinct umami flavor. To mimic this, companies like Impossible Foods use soy leghemoglobin, a plant-based version of heme. This molecule, extracted from the roots of soy plants, has revolutionized vegan meat by delivering the same mouth-watering, meaty flavor profile people crave. But heme is just the beginning. To deepen the flavor, manufacturers rely on an intricate blend of spices, herbs, and natural extracts. Yeast extracts, for example, amplify the savory notes, while smoked paprika or liquid smoke adds that characteristic charred flavor of grilled meat. Some companies take it a step further by incorporating ingredients like fermented foods, which bring tanginess and a depth to the mix. Appearance and flavor often go hand in hand. Beet juice is frequently added for a realistic reddish hue, making vegan burgers look just like beef patties. Meanwhile, coconut oil doesn't just add richness, it also melts beautifully during cooking, replicating the fatty juiciness of animal meat. Together, these elements create a harmonious flavor experience, proving that plant-based meat can taste just as indulgent as the real thing. Once the flavor and texture of vegan meat are perfected, the shaping process begins. A critical step in turning the protein mixture into familiar forms like patties, sausages, nuggets, or bacon strips. This stage relies on advanced machinery designed for both speed and precision. High-speed molding machines press the mixture into molds with incredible accuracy, ensuring each piece is uniform in size, weight, and thickness. This consistency is essential for even cooking and the visually appealing presentation consumers expect. For more intricate products like vegan bacon, spiralizers are employed to create the signature wavy texture that mimics real bacon slices. These machines layer the protein and fat blends to achieve the marbled look and feel of traditional bacon. Chicken nuggets go through an additional step. The molded shapes are coated in a light batter or breadcrumbs, which not only enhance texture and flavor, but also prepare them for frying or baking. Even unconventional products like vegan crab cakes or fish fillets receive meticulous attention. Special molds are used to replicate the flaky structure of seafood, 
and cross-hatching techniques are applied to achieve a natural appearance. By combining creativity with technology, manufacturers ensure each piece of vegan meat mirrors its animal-based counterpart in both look and feel, elevating the overall eating experience. Once shaped, the vegan meat products are flash frozen, a crucial step in preserving their quality. This process utilizes specialized blast freezers capable of reaching extremely low temperatures, often as cold as negative 18 degrees Celsius or lower. Unlike standard freezing methods, blast freezing works rapidly, solidifying the product within minutes. This swift action locks in the product's structure, flavor, and nutritional value, ensuring it remains fresh and appealing as the day it was made. The speed of this freezing process is vital. When food freezes slowly, large ice crystals form within the product, damaging its texture by breaking down the protein and fat structures. This can result in a mushy or crumbly texture, something no consumer really wants. By contrast, the rapid freezing and blast freezers prevents the formation of these crystals, keeping the texture firm and meat-like. Flash freezing also serves another critical purpose. It extends shelf life without the need for additional preservatives. This means the product can be shipped and stored for extended periods while maintaining its original quality. Whether it's a burger patty, sausage, or nugget, this step ensures that every bite delivers the intended taste, texture, and nutrition, regardless of where or when it's enjoyed. Before any product leaves the factory, it undergoes rigorous quality control checks. Advanced scanners, including X-ray machines, inspect the meat for any foreign particles, ensuring only the purest product makes it through. Skilled technicians also manually inspect the products, combining technology with human expertise to guarantee quality. Samples are analyzed for bacteria to ensure the product is not only delicious, but also safe to eat. Every detail from the protein content to the shape and size of each patty is monitored and adjusted as needed. With the hard work done, it's time to package the vegan meat. Patties are placed in airtight bags to prevent freezer burn, while nuggets and sausages are sealed in sturdy boxes. These packages are then stored in temperature-controlled facilities until they're shipped to grocery stores and restaurants worldwide. The journey doesn't end there, though. Refrigerated trucks keep the products at just the right temperature, ensuring they arrive in perfect condition, ready to be cooked and enjoyed. Why go through all this effort, though? Well, the benefits are clear. Traditional meat production is resource-intensive, consuming vast amounts of water, land, and energy. It's also a major contributor to greenhouse gas emissions. By choosing vegan meat, we can significantly reduce our environmental footprint. There's also the ethical aspect. Plant-based meat means fewer animals raised and slaughtered for food. It's a kinder, more compassionate choice that aligns with growing consumer demand for cruelty-free products. The future of vegan meat is bright. New technologies like 3D printing are being explored to create even more realistic textures, while fermentation processes are unlocking novel protein sources like algae and fungi. As consumer interest grows, the industry is poised to deliver a wider variety of options, from plant-based seafood to lab-grown meat hybrids. And there you have it, the full story of how vegan meat goes from plants to your plate. So what part of the process surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this behind the scenes journey into the fascinating world of food technology, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Simply Processed for more behind the scenes looks 